Okay, Gemini. Um, so, who was coming through for you? Okay, lots of fire. We have the Page of Wands, okay? Um, and we have the Five of Wands in reverse, okay? So right off the bat, we do have fire energy. Um, Aries energy or fire. Also, um, yeah, this is a lot of Aries, okay? We've had a lot of Aries um, energy in your reading so far, so... You could have Aries in your chart highly aspected in your moon or in your Mars, but I definitely, um, or in your black Lilith, but, um, the energy is coming through for you. And like I said, you can feel free to reverse the roles. This is heavy Aries energy here. Okay. Or fire. But, um, we have someone, um, this could definitely be a child. This could definitely be, um, a young fire sign. Um, someone who... Is dealing with some type of inner conflict for sure all right but we're gonna draw one more card one more card who or what is coming through for Gemini Five of Wands in reverse and Judgment in reverse, okay? So this situation, whoever's coming through for you, um, this could be some type of mirroring. We have um, number uh, 53 breaking down to an eight, okay, for your um, medallion oracle, okay? Eight's all about equilibrium. It's about twin flames, you know, infinity. It's about um, balance and um, mirroring. So it looks like whoever's coming through for you could possibly be mirroring. Um, remember, the energy that's coming through for you could be someone who's coming towards you, someone who um, that's coming through, like I said, uh, toward you or coming um, to bring you a message or it could just be, could be just someone literally just coming through that just wants to make an appearance in your reading, okay? But um, there was judgment self, you know, um, doubt, rejection, blockages in your energy, but also feel free to reverse the roles, but the energy is coming through for you. Okay. Is, um, this could be a child of yours. Okay. Um, but this is someone that has a new idea. Someone enthusiastic, okay? Someone's traveling towards you or someone's coming through um, wanting to explore a new beginning. This could be news of a child um, that's creating some type of um, conflict or confusion. Yeah, the Page of Wands is all about exploring a new concept, a new idea. This could also be um, the person that's coming through for you may feel as though you are non-committal or avoiding something this energy that's coming through could be very immature evasive wow this is like some strong Aries energy here
some the energy is coming through for you could have some doubts about why you're coming forward. This could be some type of plan or a partner. Someone that's coming through for you could be working with you in some type of plan with a creative new idea about how to create something or how to get out of a situation. We have the judgment here in reverse. So the energy that's coming through for you could be working on a plan on how to evade some type of responsibility or some type of um, evasion of the law or an evasion of the court system or how to get out of some type of karmic justice or which there is no way to do but someone definitely is trying to figure out a way to avoid rejection or avoid jail or avoid slowing down a getaway this is interesting okay we have a scorpionic energy here and aries energy that's coming through for you let's just clarify this this could be a partner in crime this could be someone that's coming in trying to stop your plan to get to this ten of cups or to stop your plan of bringing forth this this information about the past or about a family or a child okay all right let's see yeah this energy is coming through is angry um they're trying to get away we're trying to divulge a, a, divulge a plan to get away with you or to stop you from getting away. Um, they've been working really, really hard. Unmatched focus, okay, Virgo energy. Unmatched focus, borderline obsessed, okay, with hanging on to a possession. Okay. Possibly an Aries, Virgo, Capricorn combination here. Aries, Virgo, Capricorn combination. Okay, someone has been working on a great idea to evade. Okay, a situation, the law possibly, or prevent a secret from coming out. Um, Someone has been obsessively working hard okay eight of pentacles virgo energy earth four of pentacles capricorn energy earth seven of pentacles taurian energy earth so we even have a taurus possibly in this energy but earth in general but someone has been having unmatched focus here obsessively working on a plan to try to evade some type of um secret deep secret being divulged it could be the person that's coming through for you could be some type of partner or some type of situation you're trying to get away from to bring justice to someone else and they are working on a plan to evade this justice possibly okay this is unmatched focus here um this is um just concentration and trying to hang on um, to control of a situation, to the influence of a situation. But whatever has been done, okay, there is karma and judgment 
because we have seven of pentacles here someone failed miserably at their attempts to try to manipulate or control a situation or to come up with some type of creative idea to evade justice we have the seven of pentacles in reverse so that's failure that's um you know there's some type of mistrust in this collaboration between this possible virgo capricorn aries uh taurus Someone lost their position. Someone had to step down from an organization. Someone is, um, you know, now coming forward with some type of truth. There's mistrust. I think there was um, an investigation. Um, I think some, some parties that's coming through for you may have turned on one another. We have some um, um, angry, um, brash, um, words here um some stalking um someone weakened the organization okay someone weakened the organization that's coming through for you here and um and someone's trying to uh come up, up with another plan to possibly evade the law or some type of karma or judgment okay person that's coming through for you is trying to get away or trying to cut out or yeah there's something going on here but we're going to clarify who this Aries energy is, this um, avoidance, this plan to travel away from the justice system or something like that. I just get this energy of a, a heist or someone wanting to break away from an organization to bring justice and someone else or a group of people are trying to figure out a way to evade the law or evade or keep someone from coming towards someone with the um truth or some type of um justice here someone is trying to prevent someone from reaching toward the medallion the light the gold the truth okay Clarify the Page of Wands. What is the Page of Wands for who's coming through for Gemini? One card, please. Clarify the Page of Wands. Yeah, um, this idea to travel away to prevent or evade this justice or prevent you or someone from coming toward a organization or a connection with the truth or toward someone seeking fulfillment. Um, someone is um, going to be using the truth of feminine energy, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Someone is going to use the truth um, to prevent someone from either traveling away or as their way of evading some type of justice or keeping someone else from escaping their justice. Um, there's a lot going on here in terms of information and collaborations and just truth coming out. People obsessed and holding on, trying to avoid karma. A lot of people are getting dealt a lot of karma and judgment. But someone plans on using some type of truth, maybe some type of manipulation, to keep someone from making an offer, 
um, to keep this Knight of Cups um, stuck. To keep this Knight of Cups from making an offer or coming forward with any sort of, sort of healing or move toward any sort of healing, someone is... Um, going to use the truth to try to disappoint someone from truth to defame someone's character um, to keep someone emotionally manipulated emotional blackmail okay could be the plan for the energy that's coming through for you um, this is, could be the reason that this collaboration or this co-op or this organization um, fell through, became weak because everyone turned on everyone, emotional blackmail. Um, Yeah, someone's plan is to weaken someone with emotional blackmail to keep a karmic cycle um, from ending, to keep someone stuck in a loop um, from divulging the truth, to protect an organization here. Yeah, to keep someone confused in chaos impoverished in lack and um, wow yeah this is the plan to keep someone insecure and um, isolated and um, weak through emotional manipulation and blackmail with some type of truth coming out. That is the ingenious idea that someone has to evade the truth coming out or to evade being left to deal with karma on their own or some type of judgment. This is definitely, um, could be someone that you're in partnership with or you're trying to walk away from because of some type of um you know incriminating events in the past that you want to be free from but someone's holding and blackmailing you to stay but this energy is coming through for you could be involved with multiple people there's major evasion here um to try to avoid taking the rap by someone's alone but there's just, in court, if this is a court situation, someone is spilling their guts. Um, someone obsessively has been trying to hold on to somebody's money here. Um, manipulation, lies, investigations, um, tapping of someone's electronics, phones, um, anything they could do to try to hold on to money, but that has failed as well. So now someone is um, using blackmail to, emotional blackmail to um, keep someone trapped, keep someone from moving on. Could be a tourist or a fixed sign. Okay. Now, can we clarify the five of wands and the judgment card? What is this combination? Clarify the judgment and the five of wands in reverse. What is this combination? <laughs> to clarify this plan to evade the law or to um, minimize their karma, 
we had the seven of wands in reverse. So this is a lot of fire. Okay, now we have Leo energy here. Um, but um, we have someone who is very defensive here. Seven of wands in reverse is Leo energy. Someone feels inferior, overwhelmed, completely judged, and weak. And um, someone's trying to weasel their way out of a a um, plan or out of a um, group situation where someone was um, there was some corrupt injustice here going on um, or someone feels overwhelmed and inferior because some one party of this collaboration this could be you Gemini the one party that's trying to leave a situation where they realize something is very unjust and they're trying to bring justice to a situation. They're trying to seek the light and seek the truth. Um, and someone, possibly a third party that's being left or a family member that's being left or a family organization that's being left feels inferior so that they are, so that, so they are trying to, um, enact their own justice here by manipulation, blackmail, because they feel inferior and weak. So they're resorting to some type of um, emotional blackmail. To entrap someone or to evade or minimize their role in court or in karma or something of that nature. It's a lot going on here. For sure, Gemini, I mean, that's why I guess you guys had this energy um, of the underworld. A lot of shadow uh, work needed to, needs to be done. Um, there's a lot of um, people involved in this situation, this organization, this business, this home, um, this commitment. But a lot of chaos and confusion, a lot of judgment, a lot of... Um, opinions people this could be a group of people at least five to seven people but there's information that's coming out in seven days this energy is coming through for you is um part of this organization and someone wants is obsessed with um preventing the truth from coming out uh, i do believe that you are on the side of trying to um transform take a new leap of faith the fool you know trying to move forward um and um purge and transform and move toward something um new here trying to free um these skeletons from the closet trying to move away from a situation Getting some type of enlightenment here with the um, with the owl there, but there is some one in the situation or several people, okay, that are obsessively working against the grain. Someone in that's coming through for you is surrounded by a lot of chaos and you know lack lack of morality of spirit, of light, a lot of manipulation going on here, okay? A lot of despair and some type of collaboration here. Um, Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Again, Scorpio, all right? Um, Gemini, there you are. Um, this could be you trying to make your way to this twin flame connection or to this very spiritual connection or this choice to free yourself and find the twin flame within yourself to find balance, to transform, to renew, do your shadow work, grow, expand. And um, there is a group or an organization that does not want you to be free and... Um, there's a collaboration here. Um, 
three or more people. Um, someone could be paying a psychic to look into your life, but there's definitely a collaboration here um, so revolving around you and some type of really deep spiritual connection or the need for you to grow and make a choice for your own life, um, to find your happiness, to bring justice to yourself or someone, okay? But, um, yeah. That is what, or who is coming through for you. Let's, uh, hmm. I think we need to just draw a couple cards for a potential outcome here. A potential outcome in this situation for Gemini. Um, a lot of confusion, a lot of um, people involved. Potential outcome for Gemini, please. Someone rising Venus. Potential outcome. Advice. Potential outcome. Advice for Gemini. Someone rising Venus. Six of Cups in reverse again. Three of Pentacles. Potential outcome and advice. Okay, potential outcome and advice. You have the Three of Pentacles, okay, and you have the Six of Cups in reverse again. All right, um, Capricorn energy, um, Earth energy as well, with the Six of Cups and Scorpionic energy, water energy. So there's definitely something to do with the Capricorn, possibly, or Earth energy, a collaboration. Um, there's some sort of disappointment here, okay, around a family, around some type of abuse, childhood wounding, past life connection. Um, some trauma, okay? Um, the divine advice or outcome is saying that there needs to be a situation where someone in the situation is seeking out new collaborations, okay? Um, new surroundings, new contacts. The Three of Pentacles speaks of, you know, new solutions, um, finding confidence in, in different circles, Okay, but this also could be about um, a potential, potential outcome, meaning that it's time to um, address um, whatever this is um, in terms of this disappointment around family. Um, whatever this trauma is needs to be addressed, okay? And there is a need here for sure to, um, we have Capricorn twice here, so, this definitely can involve Capricorn in terms of this family situation, but there is a need to free oneself of this um, low vibrational energy, this toxicity. The devil in reverse is a good outcome because it's saying that there's a need and there's a willingness to detach and there's a willingness to um, um, remove oneself from a toxic environment, a toxic, ho toxic home, um, a toxic organization or business um, this is all about releasing oneself from codependent re um, relationship or family um, to uh, releasing oneself from detachments and outcomes recovering from addictions and the most important thing is just releasing that fear-based mentality Okay, because in the whole beginning of the reading, there's someone who wants to come forward. Um, 
you know, to develop some type of truth, a lot of fear of rejection and, um, Um, a lot of fear of um, being blocked and not being received so the devil um, loves to create the illusion of fear okay so with the devil in reverse divine advice is just saying um keep pushing towards detaching yourself from this very toxic environment and um, allow yourself to be vulnerable. Um, the binding that you feel is of your own, is an illusion. It's time to ask yourself, what is it that binds and holds me back? And are you truly helpless in the situation? Release those addictions, release the obsession, release the control, and detach. Be vulnerable, and then you will be free. Okay? And the last card in terms of a divine advice and potential outcome is that there will be a tower moment in the situation. Um, there have been many opportunities for change, for truth, for justice, for absolving karma, for leaving the shadows into the light addressing um all of these issues and um you know releasing purging transforming um ending the obsession ending the codependency ending the control and the manipulation um so if you're on a mission towards the truth or bringing justice to someone or situation then now is the time to continue on that that path because now we have divine intervention here, okay? This is the tower. So this is the divine stepping in. When the tower shows up, you are living in illusion. You must remove the mask and expose the truth of the situation in order to change it. Change is difficult. You will be shaken. The familiar will be broken down and removed from your comfort zone the tower reminds you to let go and let the ego fall away so there will be um some type of truth coming out um there will be enlightenment in a situation whatever's in the dark will be exposed an organization a home a business um there's going to be something um shaken up here in order to be rebuilt again okay um someone could definitely be going through some type of Dark Night of the Soul, Awakening, something shocking um, may come to light. Either way, it's going to be an opportunity to to build. Um, it's no more avoiding the situation. Um, there will be justice in this situation, if that is what is intended. Divine intervention, okay? Divine intervention here. On the bottom of the deck, we have the temperance, okay? Um, there may be some type of um, transformation or death or um, rebirth, um, but there's going to be a need for balance. There could be an energy um, around of, of resentment, a competition interference, okay? Um, with the temperance in reverse here, on um, the Four of Swords, resentment, interference, competition, jealousy, Okay, anger, rage at being exposed, but there will be balance restored. Gemini, there will be balance restored. Two of Pentacles is all about adapting to change and being very successful at doing it. And um, that's going to lead to this very beautiful outcome, which is you right there in the middle, the lovers, okay? In the beginning of your reading, it seems as if you're making your way toward this twin flame connection or this very spiritual connection um there's been so many obstacles um pain disconnect broken promises tension and stress um a group of people um working together or someone breaking away from the pack here heading toward the light out of the shadows 
from under the from out of the underworld to bring someone justice from a very corrupt situation but feeling unable to do so feeling blocked feeling stuck manipulated but on the other side of detaching okay on the other side of releasing and this tower that's going to happen this enlightenment that's going to come there's going to be balance there's going to be um a head over heart decision made here someone's going to be able to be free of a very dark situation someone's going to bring justice or have justice and then there's going to be a whole new perspective gained here um someone's going to be free of delusions and someone's going to find balance and a choice is going to be made in the situation gemini okay Let's get some positive oracle messages for Gemini. Bonus reading here. Positive oracle messages for Gemini. Positive oracle messages for Gemini. With all of this shadow energy popping up, I feel like I will pull one angel message for my Gemini's here. It's way too many. Can you get one more card for Gemini, please? One angel message. Angel messages for Gemini. Express yourself through creativity. Praise his name with dancing accompanied by tambourine and harp. You can overcome the shadow aspect. You can come overcome the darkness by faith. This is a time where your creativity Okay, your gift of gab, your ability to speak, maybe some public speaking or writing or getting in the studio, anything like that could really help you um, through this time period. Let love light the way, okay? Love is the answer, okay? Love is light, truth is light, okay? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you or abandon you, okay? Someone could be going through a dark night of the soul. Someone could be going through some type of death process, transformation, a literal um, passing or leaving, um, having to leave someone behind. Um, so just know that you're never alone. You're never alone. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Let love light the way, not fear. Okay? Rejuvenate, Gemini. Build on solid ground. Speak up. Embrace your power. Nurture yourself first. Wake up call. Have faith, Gemini, okay? You will find your wish fulfillment, your happiness, your Ten of Cups, family, love, You will bring justice. You will have justice. There's divine intervention here. Okay. Overcoming some darkness. Detaching from obsessions, addictions, um, codependency. Making a choice to find balance. Making a choice to... 
seek love or to bring justice to a um, very spiritual connection or just deciding to side with the truth and finding that balance within yourself, okay? A lot going on, but I have faith that um, there will be balance and there will be truth and there will be justice on the other side of all of this, okay? Have faith. Have faith. Whatever this group setting or this collaboration that someone's trying to break away from, remember. The medallion that's passed down. How important is it to you? Not everything passed down is a keepsake, something that you have to wear on your backs forever. Sometimes you can forge your own path and you can reach for your own path, your own light, your own, you can create your own traditions and sometimes that means coming out of the dark and reaching for something new on the other side of taking that leap there will be balance there will be divine justice and there will be a new beginning Gemini okay so I love you guys stay strong stay empowered and keep your vibrations high even in the darkest and coldest night of December and there are cold and dark nights every day of the year okay but even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December please remember you'll be fine nothing nothing can stop which truly divine